eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, hello. We are Doug and Nikki, and we got some great things going on today. But if you are new to joining us, we will tell you a little bit about ourselves. Yeah, so we are a travel. We are actually a luxury travel company, mm -hmm. company channel. <laughs> <laughs> and we like to travel the world both via land, conventional planes, flights, business class stuff, stay at luxury hotels. But we also still like to go on grand adventures like cool adventures nikki is a wizard at coming up with great and interesting trips and we do a lot of uh at sea sailing as well a lot of at sea sailing yes, yes. how Always many days 117 days i think right now Very at nice. sea. yeah so we spend half our time on land half our time at sea and um it's always lots of fun to kind of take on different adventures yes mm -hmm. yes and so as you guys know today we have a special guest which is a very exciting very special guest yes, yes. um because as we have a lot of cruisers that follow us and join in um we thought it was really great if we could bring somebody on to talk to us and talk to everybody about cruise life all the things that you guys want to know because there's always so many people i know that ask us that send messages to us asking what it's like you know cruising what it's like on board so i mean it's it's like and it's a, a great lot. time it's a great yeah. time so in, the, in the yeah. sense that everybody's all bummed out that we haven't been able to sail for six months now yeah but now there's all this conversation about like being able to go sailing again and go on amazing trips and amazing yeah. cruise so we thought it'd be like really interesting to have somebody who can really talk to us about the inside workings of of, of a giant yeah. mega cruise ship. I know, you know? I'm excited. Oh, I'm totally cool. excited to get I'm cruising totally, again. And, and, and it was great to hear that, um, you know, there's going to be some sailings coming up. And as the cruise lines get prepared for those types of things, um, you know, they're doing test cruisings and stuff, obviously. I think now people are starting to book cruises again and all those types of things. So, so. actually, so has anybody here volunteered? to be one of the guinea pigs on one of these Oh, cruises. that's a very that's good a, question. Because because I volunteered us. You I did. did. I did. I volunteered. Really? I don't okay. know if I would get you on a guinea pig <laughs> trip, but I volunteered us. So okay. we're, we have volunteered for Royal Caribbean guinea pig status. Okay. I, I don't know if that's an upgrade in our status if we get like, you know, right. a, a, a better room or something like oh, that. Oh, okay. That's news to me that uh, I was volunteered. Okay. Yes, you're in. Very interesting. You're in if they pick you. Yes. They probably pick you because you were there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So the first thing I think we need to do before we bring on our guests is we have to do our, you know, because we, we do this every week Weekly. that we like to do Weekly. our... Our giveaway. <laughs> Woo-hoo. For a fancy Doug and Nikki mug. All you have to do is share a link yep. to this webcast, webcast live stream. Uh, right at the bottom of the page, it says share. Click where it says share. Click one of your favorite your favorite way to share something, and you will be entered into the live stream, into the yeah. to the giveaway for a, a Doug and Nikki mug. Um, we I've have, actually added the. Is that the? Is oh, that look the at link you. there? Yes. yes. Look at, how, look at how fancy I am. So that is the link. So we want to get uh, more people watching. We know we get a lot of people watching afterwards, but let's get everybody yeah. on here now. Share that link and, to get um, an opportunity. Yeah. And, and let's say hi to who's here. And then exactly. let's get Eva on board. Okay, that to sounds use good. A, a cruising term. It's Eva. Eva. Yes. Eva. <laughs> Americans in our, in our thing. Exactly. So um, I think that we should. Um, what would you? Uh, I'll I'll show you. She wants to okay. be in charge of the computer. So you click here and you say, "Hey to Jonathan from the Six okay. Traveling Shorts." 
I'm going to guess they're probably more sh shorts than just Jonathan here, but okay. thank you and welcome. Would you like to click on the next one? Sure, let's see. See what kind of stuff you got there, Yes. Huh? It's raining in Ireland. Oh, okay. So, so hey, John. We got MGM family yes, joining yes, us. Yes, they're here. We have Donna M. Donna, joining who us. we've learned in the past, lives in the frozen north of Canada. Yep. Yes. Got a Canadian we on got board. A Canadian. And we got the Griswold, oh, Griswold family. They had great. Yes. Thanks for joining they us. They have great live chats also. Yeah, totally. Who have we missed here? Ah, MGM, MGM shared. MGM oh, MGM shared. shared. Awesome. They, they are alive. Okay. And I, yeah. Okay, so that is great. We got some got some stuff going on. And so I think what we should do is we should um, introduce our amazing guest yes. to everybody and bring her on. Yes. So you want to tell her about her? Yeah. So, well, you actually tell her about her, and I'm going to bring her on. Oh, so she is amazing. She she is from Greece, lives in a coastal town, and has just always been drawn to the sea and um, went to Maritime Academy, where she was one of a few women, as one might imagine, in the Maritime Academy. The and women, then yes. as as she's progressed through her career, she is she's one. I, she might be the sole survivor of her class, but uh, she's <laughs> she's just charging forward. So, so maybe, this is Ava Pablo. As you can see, she's yes. the first officer of Celebrity Cruises. Who her last um, ship that she was on was the Celebrity Edge. Yes. So welcome, Ava. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. All the way from Greece. From Greece. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you, I think the best thing, I think, to get started, I think would be great, is kind of to tell us, tell everybody how you became a first officer, because you're very young. You're 26 years old, having this amazing position, being a women, woman in the industry, which is m mostly a male-dominated industry. It's a phenomenal accomplishment. So why don't you tell us how you got there? Mm -hmm. So when I graduated the Marine High School, then I went to the Merton Marine Academy of Hydra. And after the four years of this, the studies, I took up some seminars and then I got my diploma. When I got my diploma, then I could go on board as a second officer straight. So I was on the tankers first. And uh, after two years of being second officer on the tankers, I said, now it's time to join the celebrity. And two years now I'm with celebrity. Okay. And well, after, you know. To contracts on summit and then now the latest on edge i got promoted as a first officer that's, that's so, so cool. cool and that's cool <laughs> like, especially during a pandemic when you guys were like stuck on board for so long and you had like such an like to have that as well to become a first officer it was like so amazing that's that's kind of being thrown into the the, the uh, deep end there right off the bat yeah exactly yeah but i have to say so okay so you you went obviously to American Time Academy because you decided that you wanted to become a seaman, work on the sea, work on a boat. But what was your like? What made you decide? What inspired you to do that? I think that I always knew what I wanted to be because since I come from an island as well, so it was always set in my mind that I want to be on board. I want to be in the sea. So it was pretty easy for me to decide. What right. do I do? Yeah. That's so cool. I guess when you have that love, like it's just like you just know. But now you were saying before, because we've we've had a chat. So there's nobody else though in your family prior to you that had, you know, become, you know, or decided to go to the Maritime Academy. I think you inspired other people in your family. <laughs> yes, no one before me, but the same year with me, I have a cousin and the next year another two cousins. So now we are four in my family. So, so at some point, you, you're like, grandparents are going to blame you while, what, for everybody being at sea instead yeah. of being at Christmas because they all follow <laughs> Maybe. you at sea. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and how is life, how is, you know, how is your life and your lifestyle being away for so long on these epic journeys? Well, it's tough. It's difficult, but it's fascinating. If you love what you're doing, and I love being on board, it never gets old. So there is nothing, there is no problem doing this. I mean, I love being away. Right. So, but you do, you must have family at home 
who miss you and do you find it hard um, being away from them? Of course, I miss my family and my loved ones every day, but uh, now we have the internet and I can communicate with them on a daily basis. So it's right. like I never left yet. Okay. okay, that which is great, yeah. So now as we go through this conversation, we need to say hello to a couple people as yeah. they enter and, and encourage people if they want, throw up some questions and as we get time, maybe we, sure. oh wait, first off, we're gonna need a translation. What do we got there, Ava? <laughs> that we are very proud of you and Poros on my island. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. that's, that's really great. Okay, Bill, welcome. And we have Cherry. Cherry is here from Awesome Sunset Travel. She has a cruise channel also. They do great chats. She is like on top of the news, always has the news like first first out. It's great. Uh, Jonathan from oh, Cruise. That's Travel. aid. Uh, more friends. Yeah, more <laughs> friends. Let's see who we I got. I think he was saying hello, Jonathan. Oh, he was saying hello to Jonathan. Oh, I yeah, got you. Yeah. The shorts. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's see. Oh, we do. Yeah. Really. Got uh, lots of people joining. Lots of people yes. joining. Yeah. Lots of people joining. So, what else did you have on your mind? So, honey? yeah. So, I would say, like, what you would say, because now that you are a female officer, you have a big position, there's young people out there who are either looking at a career on the sea. You know, um, what would you say to other young people, young girls, like to encourage them or some advice that you could give to them if they're thinking about a career um, such as yours? that if they really want to do this, they have to chase it until the end. And uh, they have to be, I think, multilingual, especially for us that we have, you know, we don't talk English as our mother tongue. So we right. have to be multilingual. So we have to be English fluent. That's my only ad advice. If someone is asking me, what should I do to become? I was like, do you know English? Do you speak? So, yes, but you have to be fluent. And then, oh. of course, if you have a couple more other languages, it will be more helpful as well. Right, right, which is actually really important. I don't think most people, you know, you're, you're sitting in your own country, whether that be Greece or Italy or Philippines or wherever, that, you know, English is the why, like, you have to speak English, right, on any cruise ship exactly. you're on? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Gonna, even here right. in Greece. Oh, and even in there in Greece. Mm -hmm. so, so we, we have, we have a related question alana who also has an amazing cruise channel has a question for you. she wants to know how many languages can do you speak so i speak greek obviously english and uh, right. a bit of french oh and of french nice. okay and okay. i want to learn also some spanish yeah okay, okay. that's a good one yeah <laughs> yeah and um yeah, you know, because I just I just think it's like it's really great if there is, like I said, young people out there looking to get into the industry, you know, what, you know, because it's something as they go through this process too. what types of things that you have learned about yourself that you think, you know, other people will also learn like in this process or just even specifically to you. So going through I the am, uh, I think the short version, what makes you the rock star that you are? Like, what's your magical power <laughs> that, you, that you are? I don't have magical powers, but thank you. So I've learned to be independent since I went in the academy. And uh, I think every time that I come back, I get more mature. You know, I grow up and up and, and more and more. And, of course, yeah. I never get old. You know, I'm not afraid to stay alone, to be alone for so many months. You know, I'm okay by myself. Right. Okay. So, I mean, and that's you, definitely something that's important. Um, because I guess you are like having to kind of deal with yourself, you know, like being in your, I'm assuming you have your own cabin kind of thing and you mm -hmm, spend a definitely. lot of time kind of contemplating by yourself and being I don't, I don't like think, other than on the do you ship. Actually, I love being it, myself. Have your own cabin? What? Do you have your own cabin? Because I would think yes, you I have do. You went to a really... But how far you, from, I would from think, the oh, second officers and above, they don't share a cabin. So if you are third officer or a cadet, you have to share a cabin in our company. Ah, okay, 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 gotcha. So before we lose it, yes, we click, wanted click to that, say because that, we need a translation. We need another translation. No, this is the, about my brother. 
<laughs> okay, we don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. And, okay, and we wanted to say somebody is saying hello to you. From the Palm Beach Maritime Academy. Yeah, which is cool. Hello. So <laughs> cool. And um, you probably would, maybe you'd like to see again, we have some more uh, Greek coming from Bill. Yeah. No, okay. they had a very good supper. That's why they have a very good supper. They have a good time in the noon. Yeah, <laughs> this is what they're good. telling me. That's good. <laughs> so can I, can I ask my my, yeah. my, my silly question? Yeah, which it's on here. Uh, yeah, I, it's on there. So because my boy question yeah. for all the boys who are in the room watching this, I was wondering, and I asked you when you were on the tankers before you got to cruise ships, because we know the cruise ships kind of stay away. What's it like with the pirates? How's that go down? You have to worry about them. Yeah, you have to worry because uh, they've been in many places around the world. But uh, when we pass these high-risk areas, as they are called, uh, and we are loaded, the charters of the cargo, they provide us, together with the company, some uh, armed security guards for extra protection. Of course, we have some measures on board. You know, we put some wires and uh, many other things, some dummies. But of course, with the armed security guards, we are more protected. I've never been, you know, attacked, but we've seen right. sometimes some suspicious boats in a distance. So, I, I, so I've heard, and and you don't have to say whether it's true or not, but just because, like, I I, I kind of know a little bit about that stuff. That the security companies, like, they basically live on the ships with the arms because you can't bring the arms in and out of countries. So the they oh. they stay on those ships at all times. Like yes. the members get on and off. Be the ship because we have keep. a few points. For example, yeah. in uh, Suez uh, or in uh, Sri Lanka, they have some points that you can you know offload the guns. Right. So you have right. to keep wow. them for a few days until you can offload them together with the guns. Yeah. Oh, that's so wow. cool. Yes, yes cool. Exactly. And it's also cool. You didn't have to have to have any running. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And so remind us, everybody, how long were you on the tankers before you moved to Celebrity? Uh, almost six years. Six years. Six okay. Years. That was, mm -hmm. That's a long time. So I, we want to also. interesting question. Let's, okay. let's go to Alana. Uh, she's asking, what are your favorite parts about being a female officer? Perhaps is it being a role model? If I'm inspiring some other people, that's that's good. I That's don't good. attend to, I mean, it's nice. It's nice, inspiring, but yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. It's it's, great. I'm, I'm just yeah. being me. Yeah, yeah, but by being you, I think you end up being a role model for people, exactly. which is really Exactly, which important. is great. And you're very Thank young. Thank you very you're much. A lot. Yes. I think it's awesome. We will let you know here, too. He's saying hello to us, but I know he's watching you today. He's from actually India. from India. India. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we've got... Uh, and it is a celebration there today too. In oh, India. is it really? Mm -hmm. It's a holiday. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> so he is watching. So as a first officer, because I know this is something that um, cruisers love to know, love to learn about um, the officers, people on board. What are your responsibilities? And um, you know, and how many people report to you? You know, kind of what do your duties include? Mm-hmm. So as a first officer, I'm uh, the deputy safety officer, the assistant of the safety officer. And uh, first, I am officer on the watch. That means that I stand a watch two times per day by four hours on the bridge, where I have you know, the navigational command. And I'm responsible for the navigation of the ship, for the stability of the ship, the environmental operations, and many other things that you know, may arise. Uh, despite that, you know, besides the, the watch, I'm, um, we are responsible with the safety team. I'm on top of the safety team for the second, third and third officers. And maybe we have any cadets that, you know, they report to me and then I will report to safety, which we are, you know, um, we are now responsible for the safety of the ship, for the maintenance, for the drills, for the trainings, for many things together with the safety officer instead of stuff. That's right, so cool. yeah, a lot of responsibility you have and you have a number of people reporting to you as well. And, um, and you know, I think that, you know, that in itself is- it's Super cool. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, I think, did we, did you get to actually drive the edge or did you drive the I, 
I do navigate every time on my watch. I mean, when it's on my watch, I navigate. The officer on watch navigates. So every okay. time on my watch, two times per day, we do that. That's when so we are cool. at sea, of course, yeah. That yeah. is so cool. And now, so on the bridge, because this is something that, you know, I, I'm not familiar with or how many people. Obviously, we know the captain of any ship can't be on the bridge all the time. How many people are on the bridge? Because you obviously have a watch. You're on the bridge at a certain time. How many people would be on the bridge with you at that time and or on another watch? And how often is the captain on, on like, the bridge? So when I am on watch, obviously, <clears throat> it's me, the officer on watch. And then I have an assistant officer on the watch and the duty sailor when we are at sea. And also when we are at port, maybe the sailor is not needed. Uh, the captain has to be on the bridge together with the staff captain when we have uh, maybe some uh, adverse weather conditions or restricted visibility or we are approaching a port. So when we have to make the arrival or the departure, captain and staff captain, and you know a lot of staff also, they have to be on the bridge. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, yeah, that's a lot going on because it's like, you don't really think about all those things. I mean, I always think, oh, it'd be so cool to kind of go on like the bridge and kind of tour it and stuff and see. And um, yeah, yeah, you were going to uh, say. Well, so I was going to say, so I think I saw a video of you uh, moving around the testing kits between the different ships. And I, mm -hmm. did you say you got an opportunity or you, it, part of your responsibility is to drive the tenders? Yes, the officers generally they have to drive the tender. They have to know to drive the tenders as well. So is it fun driving a tender, or or are they kind of like lumbering school buses? No, 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 it's fun. But consider that the edge and apex tenders they cost one million each one. So sometimes it's not so fun. You have to be very careful as well. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. <yeah. laughs> and the edge has the I forget the the floating thing that comes down, and that's where they the get the magic carpet. Yeah, and that, is that the where they put yeah. the tenders? Oh. Uh, this is when we have tender operation. This is uh, like a platform. Instead of having platforms like the other ships, we move the magic carpet to the deck one, you know, where is the sea level. And then we make all the operations uh, from there. It's like a platform, yeah. Oh, cool. Which is, really, that I is think really... that's a really great design that they've added, like so much easier, I would say, right? Mm -hmm. It's like easier for people. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to throw this out because I think at the beginning we a little bit covered it, but, we, but Cherry would like to know how long that you studied to become a first officer. So I had the academy, which was uh, four years for second officer, and then uh, it just goes by the time. As a, then after for the chief officers, I have to study. Uh, it's around five months five months courses, with, which I can do separately by one month, one, one and a half months. Okay, got it. To get the chief officer's license to get promoted, yeah. Right, That's okay. Cool. So tell us a little bit about, because I'm curious, you know, something that we don't, again, we don't really think about. We see people roaming around the boat and like working and stuff, but you know, for you on a seven day cruise, what, does it look like for you your work week like how you know because do you, and do you guys time it based on the cruise like if it's a seven day cruise do you base your schedule on that or is it just a regular it doesn't matter how many days the cruises are like how many days off do you get how many days like and how many hours do you work like those types of things it's like both of course the busiest day the first days of the cruise the turnaround as we call it, is the busiest because we have to schedule everything you know the drills we have to make trainings to the crew that they are joining these days okay. and um especially the first week of the for the crew for the on signers you know that they come on board uh it's pretty busy with trainings then we have to make some drills every all, almost every week we have to make many drills and of course right. we have to schedule also the maintenance every day because even if you don't see we have some right. maintenance and many things going on okay yeah so you, yes. so how many days like how many days a week do you like in a seven day period how many days would you work all of them oh you yeah. work all of them yeah. oh okay. <laughs> yeah Get days off. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. That's okay. Wow. Yeah. And so, how many days, how many hours a day would you work? Uh, around 10 hours per day. 
an but hour. of course, according okay. to the needs and the operation, we can adjust. Yeah. She can wow. she can tell you from the beginning when we started cruising together. One of my favorite things to do. It's I guess it's again one of those boy things. Like I'll sit at the the balcony and just watch them load and unload the ship at when, yeah. when you get to port. I'm like fascinated by like how fast they they bring in all the food, take out all the garbage. It's, it's, a it's like huge amazing. Turnover I, in a short to, period of time. To to me, like so I used to race cars especially. So I was used to like we'd pull into the racetrack and set up all the equipment and the pits and everything. So to me, I'm watching all this logistics going on. I'm like, this is so cool that they do that. It's yeah. pretty busy. Yeah. Yeah. Turnaround day is pretty busy, yeah. Pretty yeah, busy. Yeah. So day. that would you say I yeah. guess those, those are her least favorite days. Yeah. Least favorite <laughs> everyone's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's like I, I it, just watching it go down is like crazy what goes on. So we need to say a couple quick okay. highs. Yeah. So uh, Beach Life has joined us, and we want to say hi to them. Uh, Nautical Nurse Nancy cannot wait to go cruising again. Cruising again. Yeah. Cruising again. Lots of people can't wait to go cruising again. Yeah. I, I saw. Uh, we have. Do, 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 do. I saw them up here. Where were they? Up, Plum Travelers. They're joining they're, us. They're, they haven't gone. With, she, he's not talking about <laughs> going on a Virgin cruise. He's never been cruising before, but he's signed up for a bunch of them, which keep get, getting canceled. But eventually, he's going to get himself <laughs> on a cruise ship. Yes. <laughs> this is great. Yes. So, and now, do we know, do we know a, hey, a, a John B? A what? John B is joining us. No, I guess he he's joking. He's joking. <laughs> he's doing jokes. You're, you're good at your job, is yes. what they say. Yes. Good at your job. So you. I'll ask another boy question, okay. which is so because I love the ships and the way they're designed and stuff. And obviously, the edge is crazy cool with the bow that goes kind of it back so instead odd. of forward. It's super and cool. so my question is. As you're crew driving around this $1.3 billion ship, does it drive different than, say, the the Summit, which is a, which is weird because I keep saying it's older, but it's really not that old of a ship. It's just because you and I have been on it so long right, and so many right. times. It's, it's almost 20 not, years old, but it, I love, I love Summit. It was like yeah, yeah, we yeah. love Summit. Yeah. So but yes, there are, there are differences, even between the class of each ship. Right. Uh, of course, there are different how to maneuver, how they respond, the characteristics, everything is different. But the feeling is amazing anyway. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's, they just look like tremendous. These new ships look phenomenal, like yeah. phenomenal. We have it's not good. made it on to one of these brand new ones yeah, yet, sure. but we are definitely looking forward to it because we definitely want to get on the edge. I think we had one plan, but a pandemic happens. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And so in terms of life, because you obviously went from tanker life and you spent a lot of years on those to cruise ship life. Well, you know, there is lots of shows out there we've watched of, you know, I'm, like you can kind of even see the fishing boats. The cabins aren't like bad underneath, but I was just wondering in terms of the onboard life for you, is it different? Like the cabins and things like that different from the tanker to so like to celebrity you know, there's got to be a big difference, but are they a lot bigger? You know, what's the difference? So, of course, there are a lot of difference between these two categories. <laughs> but uh, as far as concerned, the cabin size, uh, for me as an officer, it's almost the same. I mean, okay. on the tankers, of course, we have the base, we have the mess rooms, the smoking rooms, and pretty much, you know, maybe one gym with a table tennis and a basketball, and that's all. Oh, but, okay. uh yeah, but uh, on the tankers, for officers, on sorry, on the cruise ships for officers, you know, it's bigger than the ratings or you know for the other crew. But for me, as an officer, it's good. Okay. So wait, yeah, I, I, I size, yeah. thought of an interesting question: which has better food for for the crew? Oh, it depends. Cruise ships or tankers? Because I know I think the food's still supposed to be good on tankers because you. You know, you got to keep everybody happy. I think yeah. that's important. But is yeah, it yeah, you have to because you know there is only one cook and one assistant cook for just twenty twenty five persons. But uh, so depends now maybe the nationality of the cook, how he cooks, and everything. But uh, on the other side, you know, it's more 
customized. You, you can do whatever you want. But on the other side, on the cruise ships, you have bigger variety. You can have almost everything. You can have a sushi. You can have a lot of things. Right, cool. which is great that you can still have all those things because, you know, being at sea, you want to be able to have access to at least some of the things you're used to and things mm -hmm. like that. Do you like that one? So I yeah. have a question from, oh, hold on. Like, first off, um, they're saying they, we Hi. just wanted to say they Hi. like to talk amongst themselves, which is great. We like to have people, you know, talking in the um, community. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So chatting on the side yep. there. Exactly, but hold on here. We got a question from that one. Cruise celebrity. I like that one. Like to know how long will it take for you to get to the safety officer? I really don't know. I really don't know. This doesn't depend on me. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, I have to do, you know, a couple of contracts as a first officer, and then to be promoted as a chief officer, and okay. after maybe a few years to get promoted right. to safety officer. Okay. okay. But this really de doesn't depend on me, unfortunately. But but it sounds like, I mean, you're studying right now, right? You're doing some studying mm -hmm. right courses. now. Taking courses. Yeah, yeah, to get my chief officer's license. Yeah. Okay, cool. which is great. I mean, that you're constantly, and what is your, I think I asked you before, I mean, I think is your end result, like in terms of your career building, you'd like to become a captain? You never know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. And I just wanted to, somebody, John B. would like to say hello from Reno, no. Nevada. Okay. Um, so, so, so they asked what ship you were on. Now, obviously, we know you've been on Summit. You were you were on the edge last. Do you know which ship you're going on next? No, I have no idea. You have no idea. Okay, so I have another. But, but if they were wondering, she was actually came off of Edge. Edge. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, so my other question, because how do you win a horn war between ships? Oh, you just keep horning. <laughs> who decides who wins the horn war? Like, how does that work? The one that stops first is a loser. The oh, one that stops okay, first. Okay. <laughs> but it will never stop. <laughs> That's the point. Because <laughs> well, I, I saw a video and they were having a horn war in the Port of Miami. And I was thinking... Mm -hmm. Neighbors are not going to be really happy about this. <laughs> you know, the, I was enjoying right. watching the video. They, I, don't, they don't mind. Like, they enjoy. Right next to apartment buildings and like sky. <laughs> like it's like, wow, okay, that must be interesting for, yeah. And just they enjoy, and especially also Miami and also Port Everglades that we used to go. Uh, and the buildings by the entrance of the port, they have, you know, they used to wave to us, you know, many times or by the coast. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I, I think it's definitely very interesting. It's, yeah. it's a cool insight. Yeah. It's like inside ball. Like, who would know that there was such a thing as horn wars between right. cruise ships, right? Yeah. How often do they do that? In every opportunity. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> so, so are there any other fun, silly things that, that cruise ships do to each other? Like that, that are, you know, like, like the horn wars, like. I think this is pretty much because we cannot do many That's things. Right, right. Right. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know if they like spoof the radio or something. Right, something right. Silly yeah. Like that. But, yeah. Yeah. But I always think like, okay, so the other thing, because we're talking about ports and stuff like that, and like you can do these in ports. So I was thinking, so we always, whenever we're coming into a port, we always love to watch the pilot ship come, like the pilot boat come in and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. We're like obsessed with watching like, like the pilot boats come in. It's like sometimes it's like, how is he not going to die? Because right. it's like when the, the weather's not always good. Okay, it's like, it is so true. Yeah. So we have been on some ships, which you were probably on them too. Um, the ships, when it's like rocking and rolling and they throw out the little ladder and the guy we're like oh he's not getting on no there's no way he's able to get on and sure enough he jumps from that boat and he gets on and we're like wow that is crazy that he was able mm -hmm. to get on so not only that but because we don't know behind the scenes we always thought we were always told we that could. the pilot drives it in right so does the pilot drive it in or is the captain in charge of driving right. it in so the overall command, whatever happens, the responsible person will be the captain anyway. So when the pilot comes on board, it has is an advisory. We have to advise him because he knows the area the best, you know, about the currents, the weather, maybe the traffic, everything. 
Right. So we can consult him, you know, ask him whatever we have, or any questions. And in many, in some ports, he might take the command and order what to do, or may he take for a few minutes and then to give back for the maneuver, something oh, okay. like this. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, we've always thought it was like, oh, the pilot comes on, he's steering the, but it's it's definitely not that cut and dry. Yeah, and and I think I would like to say just because I see lots of enthusiastic questions coming from people wanting to join celebrity or wanting to get into the industry. And I'm going to say to you, um, you can always reach us, just reach out to us and we'll connect you Yeah, and, and you can ask her directly um, a, a, what, what, what to, for advice. I'm sure it was happy to share yeah, her, course. her advice, but, yeah. but, but, you know, we just won't do it right now right. as we're doing this, but so right. reach out to us and we will connect you. Um, we will do that. This is just a cute little question here. Um, but if you've seen any whales or sharks or dolphins on your journeys, of course, many times, many yeah. especially yeah. especially big whales I've seen in uh, South Africa, and of course in uh, Bar Harbor and Boston. No, oh, wow. dolphins okay. is very common to see. Almost a couple of weeks, we are likely to see some dolphins. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And do you guys ever like, you know, go out there with cameras and stuff and take some pictures? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you got some great pictures, I'm sure. Yeah. As a photographer, I would I would love that. Sometimes we're like out on our balcony and he's like, Oh, there's like some some dolphins or something. And I'm like, I don't know why I can never like I'm like, okay, I've missed it again. I've missed another picture. <laughs> I don't know. Why. No, the one that you always miss is the flying fish. The flying fish. I frequently I, see the flying fish jumping out of the wake. Yeah, like up by the bow, and, and I'm like, did you see that one? She's like, I, I didn't see anything. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. And so, okay, I think like, so do you have any like more cruise ship questions and stuff? Like, you know, about the cruise ship and or being on the cruise ship. I just love um, being on the cruise ship. Yeah, we love being on the cruise ship. <laughs> I'm assuming that Me you too. have being on the cruise ship too like, yeah exactly you have to love it right yeah and like so what was your longest time at sea seven and a half months and which one no, was on that <laughs> <laughs> the latest on it yeah, on the end, yeah yeah during this wonderful like world that we were we were delivered with a pandemic so and how okay. was that how, how was that adjustment because i i guess I'm going to assume it's obviously, you could say it's not so obvious, but I'm assuming that from the beginning to the end, you kind of knew you were going to be stuck there for the whole time, right? As you watch the passengers be able to get off and then the regular crew get off. And as you whittle down to, I think there are like 150 of you on the ship, like, at, at Even some point, like I can't believe I'm still here and they've all left. Or we just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At one point, you know, they would keep leaving and leaving. I was like, ah, oh, and I'm still here. But at some point, I just don't think about it. And then, the you know, the time goes by and it was easier for me not to think about it. Right, yeah. Right. And I'm sure, like, too, as you whittle down, it was probably nice. Not that you don't know those people, like, on a really um, personal basis, but I'm sure you got to know people more personally as well during that time that you spent, exactly. like, as a smaller crew, too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, I, we yeah. almost knew everybody by their names. Oh, oh, yeah, no. And I'm sure you developed better friendships and stuff with mm -hmm. people, too. Yes. Like lifelong friends, because yeah. you know, as you have these contracts, what is the longest contract? You said you had four months normally. Normal. Yes, it's normal. It's four months. Four months, right? So right. this was like an extra period of time with a shorter, like a less people, and no, and no, like passengers have to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So celebrity or cruise celebrity has a question for you, which you could choose to answer or not. You can pass on that. Uh, we don't know. And we don't know. Uh, we're assuming. <laughs> <laughs> they know something we don't know yet. Yes, exactly. No, uh, I'm collecting many things, but one of my hobbies is to collect socks. Socks? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Like, like socks from different countries or places? or From different ports. Yes, yes, with okay. many, many okay. stuff. Uh, but, okay, you know, but weird, funny ones, not okay, boring yeah. stuff. <laughs> so, but that's cute, though. So yeah. how many do you have now? Oof. 
the last year only have almost five kilos. Five kilos? <laughs> yeah. Five kilos in so high. <laughs> So we're going to have to find you. So, so you've been to the New York port, right? Because when you were in Celebrity Summit, were you in New York port? Mm hmm But you I've were. never been out. You've never been because, out? No, no, because it was a very short period of time. Oh. We didn't okay. have the chance. So we're going to have to some New York over socks. here sometime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to have to send you some New York socks to add to your, like, five <laughs> kilo collection. Yeah, I got some yeah. crazy socks. He likes socks, too. So I, so I have all kinds of, I like, because I, I, back in the old days before the pandemic, I would wear a suit to work. And so I always found it fun to wear like crazy socks, like just mm -hmm. to not be super yeah. boring. I have yeah. all kinds of crazy socks. And now so. are socks that you collect, do you like to just get them from ports or do you like all different types of socks anyways? Everything. Oh, you do? Okay. So you said you some New York ones, you like we'll the New yeah, York we'll socks. Find, we'll find her some New York socks. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> And then she also agrees. Socks are great. Socks are great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So we have some like fun questions that we thought would be great. Okay. Because there's certain ones, well, you know, like in terms of the cruise ship, because again, when we're sitting out on our balcony, we always like, it's getting close. Like I'm one of those people, I have to say that he's like, he's like, we need to get back to the cruise ship. And I'm like, I, I need five more minutes, five more minutes. So I literally, I'm, a, I'm like, right almost at the cruise ship when it's like one of these days when we'll they're packing away runner. but how many people do you like have runners down the dock trying who to do, make on board or who don't make it or who don't make it how often does that happen or do they do people pretty so good? runners we may, we may have every day we may have once per week it depends oh. Right. But, uh, you know, we don't intend to leave someone behind. No, if they are, you know, not. that's why they say that if you are with some of the, our excursions, we yeah. will wait for you for sure. Yeah. But if you don't and you're really late, why one ship with full of passengers and get, you know, to wait for you? And I don't know, sometimes we have to make the call. Right. No, it definitely. I mean, that makes sense. It's kind of like an mm -hmm. airplane. I mean, it's the same thing. If you don't show up for your flight, well, mm -hmm. we have to leave. Yeah, the trains yeah. leave. It's no, right. of course they don't intend to, but it's also right. everybody's responsibility to get on top, get yeah. back there. Exactly. On top. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Exactly. And so we have another hello to everybody. So oh, they would like, they're, they're excited watching you too. So they're, they're here. Hello. <laughs> um, and then, so what is your favorite port? Other than, you know, the well, one. Well, know it's not New York because she hasn't right. off the ship. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, you get a personal tour when you do make it to New yes. York. We're here for you. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. So I love uh, Quebec. Quebec? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ber yes. Bermuda and the ABC Islands. Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire. Okay. Yeah, those are great. Which yeah. tour are you on that went there? Mm, summit. Oh, someone so, went there. Okay. To, to old yeah, Quebec last city? year. Okay, last year. When you say Quebec, mm -hmm. is it old Quebec City? Is that where yes. it goes? Yes. Yeah. yeah exactly. So I tried to get her on one of those cruises. Yeah, I like it was the amazing. The funicular that goes up the up the side mm -hmm. of the mountain there. You look Saguenay, down. Yes. Yeah, and it's a great picture of the ships too. Yeah. Which I'm sure somebody uh, like people from the cruise ship. Do they end up like taking pictures for the ship of the ship in different yeah. ports? Yeah, because yes. that's the perfect place for it. So, so we're getting in terms of that court question. Like, do you the question that's coming through is, do you get a little bit of time every once in a while to get off the ship in the ports and explore a little bit? Yes. For, we're trying for, to. Of course, know, depends. Get less time than other people. Like, I'm sure the entertainers get more time to get off at the ports, right? Yeah, but depends now the what. What time is your what? If you can make oh. it or if somebody else can cover your watch just for a bit and you can have some time out or maybe you can skip the overtime and you can have maybe a few hours in the port. That would be nice. Right. Okay. Cool. I was actually thinking about like, so on, on the cruise ship, when you're on, like, so when you're not on duty, like when you're off for your few hours, <laughs> Um, do you and need to sleeping. be, yeah, and you're, and you're not sleeping. Um, <laughs> do you need to be wearing your uniform to like walk around the cruise ship? Ooh, that's yes. If I am in a guest areas, yes, I have to. Of course, you if do. I am on the gym, I don't have to. But uh, okay. in all the other areas, yes. 
Okay, so yeah. you always have, you can't just wear casual clothes or anything. And no, can you no. go to shows or anything like that? Yeah, of course, if your you time can. and your duty allows, yes. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, okay, that's, that's awesome. Cool. See, I didn't know that. You see, you see officers around, but, you know, obviously they're not, like, everybody is so, like, professional and stuff. Nobody's, like, trying to get into, like, a seat or anything. Like, it seems like it's just kind of standing at the back and stuff watching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but it's nice that you're able to do that too. Um, so now another thing, because we watch like we watch cruise shows and stuff like that, and some people may or may not know, but there is I don't know if this is on every ship, but I ninety five running through quarter right down the yeah the, of the quarter ship. the middle of the ship seems to be the craziest, busiest place on the ship. Am I wrong? And what is it, what is it like, what does it mean? I-95. So the I-95 is a corridor that connects the from forward until aft, of course, the crew areas. It's the lower deck uh, that you can move, you can transfer everything from the one place to the other on the ship without uh, occupying, you know, the guest corridors. So I can okay. move anything I want from forward to aft without, you know, being in the guest areas. Okay, so that's oh. cool. So it is definitely got to be the busiest place on the ship. Yes, it is. Okay. okay, and now is that where the the food, or is there the the where they make the food, like the um, because I'm sure it's like a huge kitchen. It's not just like one little spot. But do they run through that area too? Yeah, sometimes so yes. Okay, so you got everybody. Because they prepare in the galleys, which may, might be in deck three or deck four. But if they want to move it all the way forward to deck 12, for example, they have to make it through I-95, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. That's cool. So, so we're, we're cruising along our time. So I think we would like to do, Nikki here has 10 questions to kind of get to know you a little bit as a, as a person. And then, okay. you know. We'll, we'll, we'll. And Greece, like because yeah. you, you Greece, live in yeah. Greece, so yeah, I think I want it's you to like share that. yeah, it's cool. Like when we talk to our get, like to find out a little bit about you and your country. Yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. So how would you say? How do you say hello and good morning in Greek? So hello, it's Yasu. Yasu. Yes, it's Yasu. It's like yeah, but if you want to say hello to you, it's like Yasu. And if you oh, want to say hello. good morning, it's a uh, Kalimera. Calimera. Okay. Calimera. Yeah, that's pretty it's crazy easy. Thing. It might sound, but I actually went to um, Greek school for a little while because um, really? we have, where I grew up in Canada, we have a, a good sized Greek community. So I actually went to this Greek school. I cannot remember a lot of those things say, right now, but it's like, question. oh, okay. Yeah, that's a little bit coming back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So in Greece, is what is the most celebrated holiday or festival? Uh, as a holiday, I think it's the Easter because we have many oh. things you know to celebrate and we have also fireworks and all of this. But as a festival, I think during the carnival season we have many parties and kind of festivals. Oh, so but, you have a carnival season? Yeah, we do before Easter. How is that? Like before this, it's allowed uh, around February to March. Depends oh, when is okay. Easter. Okay. See, so anybody listening too who's you know thinking about Greece, is that a good time to visit? Like during Carnival? Yes. It, yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Is that when you get to yell Opa and break the plates? <laughs> no, no, it's nothing to do with that. <laughs> that. <laughs> but of course, of course, every big holiday we celebrate here. Right. Yeah. Oh, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. I, I think it's kind of cool to be able to go to other countries and celebrate and take part in those types of things. Yeah. So February, March. February, okay. March. Okay. So if you were to Ooh, say like, question. you know, for Greece, what are they globally, globally known for? Our food. Of course. Yeah. Food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Food. yeah our, definitely. Uh, I love Greek food. Our uh, hospitality. Okay. And yeah. also our uh, philotimo, which is a Greek word that cannot be translated sufficiently in any other uh, language except in Greek. Okay, so what is it in reference to? What is it? It's like uh, love of honor. It's like 
Uh, we, we cannot even explain what is it. It's something that we can give without taking back. It's if you can Google it, you even I don't know if you can understand. Okay. Okay. But it's something well, unique for so us. So we know we can Google it. How do you spell it? It's F I L O T I M O Philotimo. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. We're definitely right, going to go to do that. school when we get done. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm going to say John B said, isn't there a huge music festival? Oh, we have many festivals during summer times especially. Okay. Okay. And this one is just I think maybe we um translate how long when is your next journey and how long will it take to get back? Um so she's in Greece right now. But um, when were you, you were telling me, like, when, when are you thinking you might be, be back at sea? Cruising us around. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe mid of February to March, I will go back on board. And I hope okay. for maybe four months. Four months. Okay. And so, and we'll find out then which uh, ship you get assigned to. Yeah. Um, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> because it's like everything is so unknown. Is it like right a now. last minute thing, or is it nor is this unusual? Like, would you when would you normally find out what your next contract, what your next ship is? This can change maybe one day before. You never know. Maybe oh, really? you know oh, one okay. one month in advance, one week in advance. Maybe they will change it. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. I guess so I we mean, have a schedule. We have a schedule, but something may change the last moment. So now, right. would you pick? To, which would which would be your favorite ship that you would pick to go on? If it would, if they, you know, if it was up to you for your next contract. Which which celebrity so, would you be on? So I've been on Summit twice. Right. I've been on Equinox for a month, and I've been on Edge for seven and a half months. I think I will choose Edge again. Edge again? Edge again? Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Now, obviously, everybody has their ships that they love the most. Like, we have certain ships that we love. I mean, we we definitely love Summit. It's not one of the brand new ships. We like Equinox. Um, is Equinox a celebrity? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I sometimes yeah. mix um, royal and, and celebrity ships. But um, so there's certain ones that we love. Is there ones that you love more than others or why? I mean, you know, everybody has a certain why they like certain ships. They're all great, but... So on summit, I love the solarium, the solarium, you know, area yeah. and the open deck and the open deck on deck four, which yeah. you can yeah. walk. Right. But uh, on Ed's many stuff, uh, the retreat, the retreat, uh, the sun deck, yeah, the spa areas, which are amazing. Right. And uh, of course, the forest before the Eden, the one that it's like you are in the waterland. It's like Alice in oh. Wonderland. Oh, yes, this is amazing. oh yes oh yes see i'm so excited i just i i'm so excited to try one because it just looks amazing but yeah i think every ship has like something it's that you're like, oh, yeah its own personality exactly which because they're all great and every time we go on we're like oh we like this one oh we like this for this read like everything <laughs> is unique which is great um okay. so so um back to some Greek questions. I, I want I want to know what the most popular TV show in Greece is. That... So yeah, like a TV show, I think one. currently we have the Greece's next top model. Okay. And uh, I think there's a TV series that it's very popular. It's called translated, it's like Wild Bees in oh. uh, in English, but okay. I think it's very popular right now. Okay. okay. And now do you guys get um like do you have an international channel? Like do you get US shows? Yeah, I can I can watch. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like I didn't know if it was broadcast or if you go to Netflix or things like that. I have yeah. to go on Netflix or maybe somewhere Netflix. again okay. and some yeah. Okay. So so I think we should she we should say a very heartfelt thank you yeah. at this point. Yeah. We and we really appreciate thank you coming yeah. on and doing this. It's so fun. You've learned so many cool inside things yeah. about Horn Wars. Yeah. <laughs> and tankers and, and all tankers that stuff. And the, and, yes, yeah. yes. And we appreciate that. And and thank you. Yeah, it's been great talking. Thank you very much. And I it think just nice. Mark, definitely an inspiration to, I think, especially, More than you think. yeah, and yeah. especially young women coming up in the industry going, you know what? I can do this. I, I can make this happen. And I think right now, leaving it off, what would you say is the best advice? Other, like, you know, the speak English, anything else, like, 
it, you know, you've got to push through, it's tough at times. Like, what would you say is the best advice? You have to be very stubborn. Very okay. stubborn, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. You'd be okay. good at that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So Ava, it has been awesome to chat with you, you. and everybody out there. Thank so, you very much. Uh, you can follow her too on her Instagram at Ava Pablo and um, check her out there. Yes. You'll see all of the latest happenings, especially when she gets back on board. You You'll can follow her. Find out first where she's going. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and you know maybe we'll have you back again once you're yeah. you know back and we'll see welcome. how things yeah. things are going as well. And uh, perfect. Right now, we so appreciated having you. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Aika. Okay. okay, bye. So now we loved having. That was Ava. so cool. We hope that you guys enjoyed that too. And uh, Terry, I can tell you they get two months off. They're like yes, four months yes. on, two months off. I saw your yeah. question. Um, yeah. I just didn't, we didn't want to bog her down with more of those. I knew the answer, so I figured we would do that. Yeah. We need to throw up. Who's the winner of the contest? Love? Yes, exactly. So we got to get to that Who's because win it's like this fabulous month. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, Anthony, that's so cool. I don't know if I've even seen if Anthony's in the room today. Can you win when you're not in the room? Yeah, I think you still win if you're not in the room. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll send out a little message so, so that we so can get I, an address and I send think it. you had a way to get more entries for next week if they, they shared stuff yeah, now so, so that they so, could get ahead of the game exactly, for next week's contest. Obviously, we have ended our chat with Ava, but you can still um, share our YouTube channel to any social media platform. You can go to our Instagram, Doug and Nikki Insta, share one of our pictures and tag us and uh, you will be entered into the um, giveaway for next week. Yes, and we want to say thank you to everybody for being yeah, here. It's been we fabulous. really appreciate it and uh, hopefully we'll have some more guests as we move forward. Feel exactly, free to next week we actually have another guest coming up. Yep. Uh, you're not in the. Uh, I'm not in the loop. Yes, but we actually have another guest from a phenomenal um, luxury hotel. Um, it is a corporate person, so they're going to tell us a little bit about that industry, about the luxury hotel. So we got lots of great things, and a, a couple other people that I've got lined up as well. Nice. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say see you later. Enjoy the games today. Everybody, stay healthy. And hopefully we get out cruising pretty soon. And we'll see you on the road.